Hi guys! So I went out on Sunday and uh, this was the look I did to go out. Um, it's as probably as close as I would get to doing a smoky eye. Um, it is a smoky eye but it's got loads of colour in there as well. Um, I wasn't sure about it at first but I got so many compliments going out I thought I would recreate it for you all. Uh, it's basically a brown smoky eye but it's got green, it's got like a copper and it's got a blue colour in there as well. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned to see how it's done. Bye! Right, first thing, you don't need to put any eyeshadow base or anything on your eye because um, the first thing I'm going to be doing is using a cream eyeliner or gel eyeliner as a base. It's one by Bedhead. It's a brown colour and it's called Jamaican Java. Um, if you do use a an eyeshadow base like Shadow Insurance or Primer Potion or anything like that, it's going to make it really, really difficult to blend out. So taking a flat-ish brush, just going to start putting that all over the eyelid. And you just want to blend that out of the edges as best you can, but you don't have to be too perfect about it at this stage. Once that's had a few seconds to dry, your next step is to apply your base over the rest of the eye so that all the other shadows that you put on there higher up are going to have something to stick to. I'm using Too Faced Shadow Insurance. This will also, doing this will also help blend the edges of the liner as well. And you can just kind of pat it over the lid because it's shadow going on top of there. Small shade brush and Sudan by Kryolan. Really dark brown. And that's going all over the top of where I put the brown eyeliner. So darken the colour up and it'll help to uh, give the edges a nice blend as well. Next step, this is where it starts to get a bit more colourful. Um, take a green pigment, this is called Pixie and it's by Collection 2000. And I'm going to press that all over the brown. And it gives it a lovely kind of green brown colour. For above the crease I've got a really uh, nice reddish bronze colour from my Sleek Original palette and uh, I'm using that with a slightly fluffy angled brush. To darken the crease up, I've got number 66 Dazzle Dust by Barry M, which is just basically a flat black, and on uh, a fluffy brush, just going in there, on the, just on the very outer corner, and I'm going to pull it in slightly as well. I made sure I really work this into the brush, otherwise you're going to end up with loads of fallout everywhere. So now it should look like this. And um, if you find that you feel like you've lost the green a little bit with adding the black, then just go back and add a bit more in. The uh, next thing to do is take a really fluffy brush and um, just a really a pale matte colour. I'm using Highlight by Kryolan. You could use a face powder, it's just this is a bit kind of more pigmented than a face powder would be. And that's going right under the brow bone. Now I'm taking Eye Bright Pencil by Benefit, and that's going right in the inner corner here. Give our inner corner highlight something to stick to. I'm taking Bedazzle by Collection 2000 on a pencil brush and that's going on the inner corner I'm really going to pack that in there. I want it nice and gold. Bring it up slightly as well and round the edge of the 
uh, some copper colour with whatever's left. Now with the same bedazzle colour on uh, my small shader brush, I'm just going to put a little bit in the middle of the eyelid, so a little highlight. Under the eye, I'm going back in with uh, my cream liner. And to blend out where the cream liner stops under the eye, I've got Dazzle Dust number 20 from Barry M. It's a really kind of bright pale blue. And in the gap there, where there's a bit of brown still directly under the eye, I'm going to use Collection 2000 Glam Crystals Liner in number six, Night Fever, it's a dark blue. Black eyeliner from Barry M, going on the waterline. Using black gel eyeliner and a little paintbrush, I'm just going to do um, a thin line on the top not winging it out or anything. Black mascara. I'm just adding a few lashes in the outer corner. Um, these are from a pair that um, I used on someone when I did their makeup a couple of weeks ago and they, they were too long and so I snipped the end off and this is what was left. So I like to keep those to use just as corner lashes. I've already done all of my foundation, my powder and my contour. My blush is some going to be some peachy shade by Collection 2000. On my lips I'm using a colour hold lipstick by Collection 2000 um, in number 14. It's like a brick red colour and it's a matte finish. Okay so this is the finished look. It's a really colourful, smoky eye and a bright matte lip. I hope you enjoy it and I hope it was useful and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!